Hey there fellow wet shavers, Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Thank you for tuning in today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be again using ENS Rissage. This is another sample. Uh, today though, I'm gonna be using the vegan base. Yesterday I used a tallow base, so I wanted to kind of uh, just use them back to back to see if I saw any difference between the bases. So today I'm gonna use um, Azure, and this is the vegan, so you can tell by the little uh, green leaf on there. I also have the sample of the tallow, but but where, where's Moana? Oh, the Moana sample's in there. So it's still a pretty soft. The vegan is still pretty soft. It's spread in my bowl uh, really well. So it's not, watch out, sweetheart. I've got my daughter in here today. So um, I'll just say hi. everybody's up early. I'll well, not everybody, hi. but she is up early. I want to show them something. Oh, boy, you do, huh? <laughs> you guys are in for a good one today. Horses. Yep, she's really into her horsies. And now I'm buying um a um a bridle. A bridle. Uh huh. For her horses. Her, a bridle. Her toy um, horses. A bridle. A um. So. Horse blanket and yep. a horse blanket. Yep. And so, a helmet. There you go. I've got the matching splash. We are using a Mercure 34C with a first use Gillette Platinum. This blade. is my money. Oh yeah, she's got her money. Oh, careful, you're gonna drop the money in daddy's sink. That's for the money in the skull. Uh, we got this, the PAA um, <laughs> Starcraft brush. We're all lathered up in the bowl today. Hopefully you guys can hang with me. We'll see how this goes. Uh, welcome to today's video. If you're new to the Why channel, the welcome. Daddy, what yeah. happens if it doesn't go so well? Well, I guess it's there. I don't know, if it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. It's, uh, that's how it goes. Uh, anyways, um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I don't always have my kids, but every once in a while they pop in. Uh, if you've been here for a while, thanks for the continued support. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. If you like anything you see here, hit the thumbs up button. All that helps the channel. Uh, if you have something that uh, some comments you want to make, please make them in the comments below. Uh, I love interacting with everybody. So uh, let, with that, let's get into today's shave. I'm going to wet the face. We're getting some more subscribers. I got the cat in here who's knocking over stuff. Oh boy. Daddy, um, pick yes. me up. Oh, I want to say hi. I don't know if I can pick both of you up. Oh my God, she's getting there. There's the cat. Okay, all right, all right, okay. She's getting heavy. She's solid. She's solid. Okay, sweetheart. Now I need to be able to talk now, okay? Can I put my kitty? You can pet the cat. All right. So um, this Azure. Um, so what I found, I, so I had a sample of all of the scents. This one was picked by my daughter um, this morning and um, I had her smell a few and she picked this one. Because it smells the best. Because she says it smells the best. Um, it is a nice scent. This is, I'd say. And then she's a little too sweet. It is a little sweet. It is a little on the sweeter side. Um, there is also a Moana, which is actually even sweeter. I have the Moana because I have a Moana dress. I know, I know. Um, but this isn't as sweet as the Moana. So um, it's it's on the sweeter side, but not quite that sweet. So anyways, um, scent strength I've put on about four, four and a half. So low medium or medium-ish, low medium. Um, so the scent strength is definitely there. Um, this is, like I said, the vegan base. It's hard to tell. This is the first use of the vegan. Yesterday was the first use of the towel, so it'll really form a, uh, a good opinion. Um, we'll take some shaves, but uh, I did want to do some first impressions. And again, I'm using a razor with a Mercure that is uh, really familiar to me. One of my first razors. Very mild razor, in my opinion, and um, I always get a good shave out of it. And I feel like this is my first DE razor ever, and I still have it. And I always feel you can't go wrong with it. So I'm not sure I've used a Gillette Platinum blade in it before. Daddy. Definitely plenty of slickness on this. It's not quite as dense and creamy as a towel, I would say. Um, but 
other than that, I think it's it's definitely plenty of slick, plenty of residual slickness. You can see I'm doing this on purpose, going over the same area um, like that multiple times. And with a razor this mild, you can you can kind of do that without over shaving if you're careful. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, sweetheart. Um. Can I count my money and then can you, um... You want to count your money? Yeah, and then that's the one you do your save video. Uh -huh. um, wait, wait a minute. Where's my daughter? I don't know, sweetheart. Oh, so yeah. she's uh, really been doing chores and she's got, she got money for her teeth that have fallen out recently. I got, the I tooth got my teeth. You want to show them your teeth? Stem. All right, it's missing her three front teeth on the top. So, and my brother, can I tell how I knocked out this one? What? Well, let me... tell, uh, how I knocked out this one? <laughs> uh, you can say it, just you can, they can hear you, so you can just say it. Um, my brother kicked me in the mouth as I was bleeding. Yeah, the last one she lost, they were roughhousing on the couch, and uh, my son's heel ended up in her face. And uh, one, it was loose, but knocked it out. So, anyways, um, so this, <laughs> let's get into the scent. Uh, the scent on this, so this is uh, described as fruity, citrus. Um, other words in the description were marine, woody, slightly sweet. And it is slightly sweet. The, the Moana is um, sweeter, but this is has a sweetness to it as well. It's not quite as sweet as that, but definitely has kind of a, a marine tropical vibe. So the top notes are fig, citrus, aromatic freshness, spices, although I don't find it to be too spicy, um, aquatic and coniferous, but I'm not really getting the coniferous part. Um, middle notes are marine, rose, and florals. So I'm getting some florals, some kind of tropical florals. I don't really get much rose. Again, um, yesterday's um, Equinox had rose in it too. And I think, I feel like a lot of the scents they have have some similar um, notes in them, but they all smell distinctly different. Uh, and they have a lot of, of notes, I noticed as well. And, uh, or at least they list out a lot of notes. And um, so in the base notes, you have vanilla, cedar, woody, it said sandalwood, musk, and sun. Um, so I'm not sure what sun smells like, but this is definitely a scent that if you were a seasonal shaver, uh, would probably be more lean more for you towards the spring and summer um, although it's not it's not too sweet but it's definitely got a tropical vibe to it for sure um, I definitely get like I said the sweetness um, there the soap itself is not too dark so I don't think there's too much vanilla in it where if you look at the Moana soap um, it is really dark um, almost dark brown so there's definitely a lot more vanilla, a lot more sweetness in that. Um, I do get the, some florals, but it's not, um, I don't know, it's not overly floral. But you'd have to definitely be looking for probably a tropical vacation beach type vibe um, for this scent, in my opinion. If I were like in Hawaii or on a tropical island going to a luau or whatever. This is definitely a scent that would fit right in. So if you like those type of scents that are slightly sweet, slightly florally, uh, fresh, that's kind of how I would describe this one. Slightly aquatic. Overall, a nice scent. All right, let's go <gasps> against the grain. Daddy, with the nickels, it makes 95 because I'm down to 90, and then now it makes 95. Nice. So she's really... And my grandma's 95. Our great-grandma's 90. Your great-grandma's 95. 
Um, she's really learned how to count her money really well. So anyway, she's been collecting her money and she's really into horses. And so she's been, she wanted to, with her money, I took her to the store on Sunday and she bought this little horse set. And um, I can't, I, there's this brand, I can't remember what the brand is called. It's, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but this is the brand and it's backwards. It's S-C-H-L-E-I-C-H. Um, Skleech or something like that. Anyways, um, they're kind of expensive toys. Hey, no, 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 and I paid them. It was um, $30.99. It was yeah. uh, grandma at the store. Yeah, that's right. We ran into uh, my mother-in-law, father-in-law at the store. Um, but yeah, it was like 30 bucks for this horse set. She had saved up $40. $43. Oh, $43. And uh, so that's what she wanted to buy with the money. And it seems like it's quality quality stuff though. At but least it's not real cheap plastic. Um, it seems well made. Uh, they have Daddy, other- Daddy, I paid you back. You paid for it and then yes. I paid you back. Yes. $40, $38 than I paid. Yes, yeah, she had to count. We got uh, Daddy and Mommy paid because she had most of her money in, in quarters and there was a long line at the store and I didn't want to have to count out the quarters and hold up the line, so I just paid. And then when we got home, we took the receipt because uh, it was actually on sale anyways, and um, and she paid us back for it. So um, trying to teach you life lessons, right? All right, uh, I'm gonna rinse the face and then we'll get in the post. What's I know, that? I know I have 99 cents, that's 95 cents. Mm -hmm. All right, overall, I think no, I was, some pickups I could probably do. I feel like right here, this is a, this area on my neck is always gives me the most trouble. I, I have the hairs that grow in the weirdest directions. Daddy, there's a scratch on my back. <laughs> you know, well, you better itch it. All right. Okay, there we go. What? What, Allie? Oh, yeah. She's got a little scratch on her bum. Okay. All right. So, um, again, this stuff was sent to me all the way from France, um, from Estelle and Stefan, I think. Uh, that's the E and S of the Rissage. And, um, they, in my room. Okay. And okay. Anyways, they were generous enough and kind enough to send me this stuff um, um, for free. So this was provided to me um, and uh, I was not asked to do a video or anything in return. I just thought um, that I would do that. Daddy. This is an alcohol. Let me get a little bit more on there. Alcohol based splash. It smells nice. It smells fun. I mean, this is to me, this is like a fun scent. Um, like I said, it's tropical. But Daddy, you haven't done me and with Daddy a little bit fun. Uh, I like the biggest horse the best. Hey, Daddy, yeah, you'll be like me. All right. So, uh, thanks for hanging in today, folks. Um, really appreciate it. Again, if you see anything you like in here, hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> If you can sympathize with my situation, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, anyways, we'll see you soon on the channel, and thanks for tuning in. Bye! Bye! All right. All right. Thanks, everyone.